let me start with giving you a little background, and so it can sort of give you a history of it. And I don't know how much all of you know about me, but actually I was born and raised here in D.C. For all of the people that are from D.C., not that far from the convention center. Yes, a little plug for D.C. <laughs> Not that far from the convention center, in, uh, actually in, uh, in northeast Washington. And it was five of us in that family. I have one brother and, uh, and three sisters, and grew up right in D.C. And, you know, my parents, I'm sure just like all of you, worked really hard. You know, my dad worked two jobs. Um, at night, he drove a cab. So any cab driver, wherever I go, they are the luckiest person in the world because I always overtip. I always overtip. And really, that was how I got through college and, uh, and how we got through high school. And, um, you know, it was important when I remember this, uh, hence the dressing today, and I'll tell you about it, is, you know, going through Catholic school. Has anybody gone to Catholic school here? Okay. So here's the thing about Catholic school that you know. Elementary school, for me, it was Burgundy Platt. And then from there, I moved to Green Platt. And then from there, back to Blue. So it's why you will never, ever see me in Platt. You just, it just, it just, it just won't happen. It won't happen. Um, so it's sort of, you know, pretty kind of messed up my, my fashion sense. So for me, if I get a blue, gray, black, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Anyway, so after that, you know, I uh, went to um, undergrad at Boston University and majored in communications. And people always ask me, you know, what do you do to get into crisis communication? You know, is there one particular path that you can take? And it's not. I mean, actually, sort of how I, I went into it is from Boston University. Um, this is actually awful to say, but I'll go ahead and say it. Somebody told me that I argued well. So, of course, being the kind of person that I am, I took that as a compliment. <laughs> and they said, you ought to try law school. <laughs> so I went to George Washington University, and I got a degree in paralegal studies. I wanted to sort of put my, you know, toe in the water a little bit. And then from there, I, um, you know, I went to uh, American University and both, uh, you know, both local schools here. And so <clears throat> I really got an interest in, you know, the law and communications and really have been fascinated with how, how, how I should say, all of those things uh, come together. So, you know, part of what um, I did right out of, yeah, right out of law school, was the Iran-Contra investigation, but probably most of you would uh, hopefully remember, I was a prosecutor in D.C. Uh, where I had to learn sort of this famous quote that the B set me up. I don't know if anybody remembers that case involving Mary and Barry. Um, so I handled the press on that, and uh, from there, um, and this is why I say you really want to stretch and you really don't know because things happen. You know, during that case, <clears throat> some people at the White House were watching um, how I was dealing with the press in the Barry case and saw me on TV. And it coincided with a time where the White House under President Bush was looking for a deputy press secretary. And so from that and references, I got the job at the White House. And really, unlike probably most folks, a network is important, I knew absolutely no one there. Absolutely no one. It was just simply, you know, reference and TV. And so that experience at the White House was really good. Um, it certainly took on, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of crisis. Uh, work. I, uh, <laughs> I remember, oh God, everything from President Gorbachev's resignation to working with the LA riots. Uh, I remember being in Japan. And I remember that uh, we were just traveling a lot and the, you know, nobody was too excited about it. And so we remember talking to the president and we said, look, you really, you know, Japan is important. You want to bond and make it a really strong trip. So <clears throat> we're all out. The president is playing tennis uh, with the, the president of Japan. 
And so we're out uh, enjoying a nice dinner with the press corps. And so you have the press staff and the press corps. And so we're sitting down eating dinner, and all of a sudden, everybody's pagers are going off and cell phones are ringing. And it's really hard to sort of sit there and pretend like nothing's going on. And so all the press, all of us got up and said, we got to go. And the press are like, oh my God, there's something wrong, there's something wrong. And so they all get up and lo and behold, we found out that the president did a little too much bonding and he threw up on the president of Japan playing tennis. <laughs> So that was, that was sort of a mess, and we had, I know, it's one of those things like, how did that happen? How did that happen? And, um, you know, the White House provided really sort of a good um, experience and really, honestly, a stomping ground because you have to handle crisis every single day. I mean, they don't, they don't wait for you. You know, come the end of the day, it's going to be in the paper tomorrow. It's going to be on the, the nightly news uh, one way or the other. And then, you know, I had some background with uh, NBC, uh, which was great. I sort of remember, like most of you, uh, watching uh, O.J. Simpson and the, the group of people that were following him down the, uh, down the 405 and, you know, dealing with, uh, dealing with that crisis. And what has been rewarding, which I, I want to encourage you today about it, is that really with each experience and with each um, tasks that I set out to conquer, it was way out of my comfort zone. I mean, anybody will tell you who knows me, I'm deep in the comfort zone. I can eat the same food every single day. I go to the same location. You know, I stay within in places that I know. And part of going out of the comfort zone is being able to learn, I think, what your strengths and weaknesses are, um, and also being able to be open to new experiences. And it really, truly, truly helps you test what your limitations are, your strengths, what your drive, how strong you are, how much you want it, and what you're passionate about.